it means that you know sometimes we if we have a very weak slab or the girder then the load distribution will be different this is the ratio of stiffness stiffness of slab girder over stiffness of kg is the stiffness of girder lts cube is the stiffness of slab it, it this factor shows how much girder is stronger than your slab if the girder is more strong then this factor should be less than one one means that the girder and slab they are equally strong the slab is capable of taking the full load if you actually calculate this factor if you want to actually calculate this factor it will be less than one and if it is less than one your answer will be right your answer will be more safe or not we discussed that day if it is less than one it will be smaller, smaller. smaller. yeah it will be smaller okay let's move next so now let's move to the exterior girder so we have this g factor for interior girder now we will move to the ex exterior girder now let's calculate the g factor for yes what about the or on your load why we did this with the multiplier one one why we did not multiply good question This is a lane multiple presence factor. So if it is one lane loaded, M is equal to 1.2. But if, if it is 2, then how much is M? 1. And if it is 3? So 0 0.85. So now what you should do? You should take it at 1. You should multiply this by 1.2 or what? I would prefer to keep as it is because if the number of lanes are more than one, it is one, and if the number of lanes are more than two, it is less than one. Less than one, you are reducing the force effect. So, I would prefer to take it equal to one. But if you want to be more sophisticated and if you want to be the more precise, you can take it equal to 0 0.85. If you want, I can do that. Okay, I would prefer to take one. Okay, for the for exterior girder, for let's do it now for the exterior girder. For the exterior girder, we have to use. Uh, the first case is one lane loaded. Now the one lane loaded. Exterior girder. And this is the case when one lane loaded. So for the one lane loaded, we have to use the lever rule. This is what I told you before. We have to use the lever rule. What is the lever rule? I tell you what is that. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to just draw the this much part of the bridge. Because the exterior girder is here. Now what is lever root? I think you have heard many times this word but now I am going to tell you what is lever root. Okay, let me draw this part. This is the exterior girder. And this one is interior girder. So tell me 
the truck truck can go up to maximum which point truck i mean the wheel of the truck at the at the middle between like for example if this is the car wheel can be here no 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 how much the center of the wheel yeah the center of the wheel <laughs> can it be here no, no. how much maybe about the uh, Four hundred. Astro says the wheel cannot be closer than three hundred mm. Three hundred. You know, because the wheel itself has some distance. Number two, you know, beyond the wheel, the truck has body. Do you understand or not? The truck has a body beyond the wheel as well. So. It is not so. The uh, the astro says you can consider the wheel can maximum come up to this point. The wheel cannot come up to this point. Do you understand? Yeah. So if this is a one wheel, one. So the wheel load is x over two. The p is the x load. One load. One load. And this is the other x load. P over two. How much is this distance? One has uh, one meter. I. Eighteen hundred mm. Okay. So what we consider now, we will consider, we will assume that this point is a hinge, and this point is acting as a reaction. If you see, yeah, the 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 reaction is going up. The reaction of the girder is going up, and we will take the moment at this point. Let's take. We will assume a hinge at this point, and we will take the moment at this point. So let's take moment at point C. Moment at point C it will be equal to what? How much will be this distance now? How much will be this distance? Which distance? Two thousand hundred minus. How much? This is 880. <coughs> distance from the center should be 1300. Now tell me, how much is this distance? And the distance from this center to this center is 2200. Now how much is this distance? 1300. 1300. Is it correct? Please check. Okay, nine hundred. It's the hard part of one thousand. Yes, eight hundred. Yes. And let me just count the thousand. No, you should not do that. Yeah. How much is this distance? Ah, it's not that distance. This is eight eighty. No, this is eight eighty minus three hundred. How much is this distance? It will be five eighty. Five eighty. So eighteen hundred minus five eighty. One thousand two hundred. Two two. One thousand two hundred. This distance is how much? Five eighty. <coughs> And this distance is. One thousand two hundred. Five eighty, and the distance from this point to this wheel is how much? Eighteen hundred minus five eighty. One thousand two hundred twenty. Two hundred twenty. So this is the distance from this point. So it is nine hundred eighty. And this distance will be nine hundred. Twenty-two hundred minus this. Now take the moment at point C. This is R. I call it. This is R. Reaction. Reaction. Or you can take first P by two. Multiplied by this total distance. 
So, yes, we didn't consider uh, the barrier in our conclusion. Yeah. So, this 300. Uh, oh, you are yeah, right, you are right, you are exactly right. This is 380. You are right. The barrier is 380. 380 plus 300 will become 680 and this distance will be 200 and if this is 200 this will be 1600 thank you so it will be 600 and this distance will be 600 P by 2 1800 plus 600. This is a, this force plus P by 2 into 600 minus R into. So from here we can find out R. How much is R? In terms of P. You can find this R in terms of P. Equal to what? 
Zero point. Zero point five. Nine five. Zero point nine five. Yes. So e will be equal to what? One. It should be greater than or equal to one. So g will be equal to. Zero point six five. Which g we will we'll use? This one or this one? The greater one. The greater one. So in this case, we will use this g. For exterior, we will use this g. For interior, we will use zero point six five. So this concludes this lecture, and from now onward, we will go to the longitudinal distribution. Okay. So once we have V U and M U, we can design. So in the, in the next class, we will do the longitudinal distribution, and then we will have V U and M U. Okay. Thank you. Okay.